Hello everyone, I'm David Zarifpour and in this video I want to show you how we can use Mate Controller in SOLIDWORKS. As you can see here, we have an assembly by four parts. First is a base part and we have a three link part. And each part have a Mate, Coincidence and Concentric. Each part can rotate. And this part can go up and down now if we want to use mate contour we have to add mate advanced mate for distance limit distance and limit angle i go to the mate and select advanced mate i use limit angle between this face and this face i use for the first angle zero angle and for maximum value use 90 degrees and click ok and add another limit angle between this face and this part between zero degree and 180 degrees and click OK again and use limit distance between this face and this face of my parts use 100 millimeter for maximum value and also I use 100 millimeter for first value and click OK now I have a three limit made for angle and distance. Now I click on mate controller from insert mate controller. In mates box, I select my limit mates. Here I select limit angle first, limit angle two, and limit distance. And here in mate position, I have three limit angle and limit distance for the first position position one i use this value for my mate and i use i change the value for limit angle for example change it to 70 degrees and click add position here i could change the position name i use position two and click ok now I change the limit angle to, I change this to, for example, 55 degree and click again on add position, position 3, click OK. And for limit distance, I change it to, for example, about 10 millimeter and click again add position. Each position I want to have, I put my values for each mate and click add position and at the end position i want to limit angle be on zero degree limit angle to be on 180 degree and limit angle to be on 100 millimeter and click add position position five and now i click calculate calculate animation and SOLIDWORKS change the position at the position I selected and now I can click play from first position go to position 2 and after that go to position 3 in 2 seconds total duration is 8 seconds I can also change the time for each position for example I change position 2 to 10 seconds and use 1 second for position 4 again I click on calculate from position 1 to position 2 in 10 seconds the limit angle first changing and at the end in 1 second go to position and also I can save my animation I can save my animation by 
ratio I select here for example I change it to HDTV format and save that on desktop Now I can watch my animation as a video. I hope this video was useful for you. If you have any question, you can write on comments.